Greg, we're three games into the championship season. What have you made of it so far? Um, yeah, a lot of mixed emotions. Um, obviously, we got off to a really good start. Um, and kind of and amongst the squad, probably a little bit disappointed we've not built, uh, built upon it. However, there's a lot to be encouraged by. I think if you, you look back over the games, that there have been three completely different games, which is, is good in the long run, actually, if you're going forward. Um, particularly if you, if you go along the lines of game management and, 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 um, and how you play these types of games. I mean, I think this week, I'm learning quickly that it's going to throw different challenges at you every single, every game. Um, and every game's just going to be as tough as, as, as the next. There's not going to be bankers or points. There's not going to be one you can look at and go, right, I think we can, we'll, we'll guarantee points there, we'll guarantee points there. It's going to be really difficult every game. Um, but it's, it's a challenge that I'm relishing in, and I know that the rest of the squad does as well. Your first experience in the Championship, what have you made of the standard? Mm. Yeah, it's been good. It's been everything that I thought it would be. Um, obviously, I've been playing against some higher quality uh, teams and, and cup competitions and things like that before. I've played against certain players that have moved on to Championship. I'm, it's a level that, that I wanted to get to and I, I'm enjoying playing it and I'm relishing playing in it. Um, I think I've still to play to find my best form but I feel like obviously it's still very early on in the season um, and as a, as a squad as well we're all still pushing to get to that level where we want to be um, and I'm sure we'll get there and you've seen signs of it um, but yeah, we're, we're in a, I think we're in a strong place and, and we just need to look forward to the next game and go and take each game as, as that's where we can go and get, pick up some points As far as championship debuts go Preston wasn't a bad one for you no, it was incredible um, just to have the, the whole occasion with the fans back and, and I was lucky enough that um, Preston's probably a local game for, for me considering for my family so they were down um, they, they made the journey down and, and it was great and, and I had quite a few of them in the crowd that day so it was special in that front um, and it was almost just like a, a, an achievement that we'd all as a, as a family unit been trying to get to for a while so it was great and, and uh, but like you say, football moves on quickly. Um, it's just one game. It was three points. It was fantastic. But I think the main thing of that was that we noticed that obviously last year, unfortunately, we missed out on having the supporters. And I think it really showed that they turned out in their numbers, the full voice, and, and, and they backed us. And, and to be fair, the last two home games, it's not gone the way they would have liked it. And us, obviously, but the support again throughout the game has been, has been second to none. We, and we really feel that as a squad. We feel that they're behind us. And, that, and that's what we're pushing to do. We're pushing to get results for them. Um, and I'm sure this weekend at Fulham, particularly, they'll, they'll be there in their numbers again. It's a great away day and it's obviously they've got fond memories of the last time they were there, so hopefully we can touch on that again and, and go and get a similar result. It must have been so strange for you because you've been at the club a year, a whole season, and not playing in front of fans until that game against Preston. Yeah, and arguably probably in my, one of the, my, well, the best seasons of my career because obviously the promotion and, and winning the league and things, it was a... Uh, well, obviously, we got a small glimpse of it when we did beat Wigan and we ran outside and there was a, a couple hundred there. But I think that just, I'd always heard about, obviously, great things about the fans and, and Preston really reiterated that from when we, walk, we walked out of the warm-up, just purely for where they were situated, just staring at a wall of Hull fans and that, that noise you hear when, when, um, when they sing you, you all. Um, no, it's, it's, it's great. And, and us as players, we really thrive off that. And you can see the celebrations at the end. It was fantastic. And also getting three goals and to the end that where they were at, just topped off a great day. It has been a couple of defeats since, unfortunately. Where do we need to improve? I think we need to be a bit more streetwise um, amongst the squad. We've kind of we've touched on that. I feel like if you go, you go back to the QPR game, we lost a, a sloppy goal um, from set pieces. We know it's going to be crucial this year. I think it's uh, very evident that they're a massive, a massive strength of teams in this league. Um, and we were good at it last year, so we need to get back to that as well. But I feel... Um, you look at QPR, we started the second half like a house on fire. I mean, two off the line, um, one tipped over the bar, another clear header from a corner that we, we missed. And it's just like you you miss those chances and two minutes later, one team gets a deflection and, and it goes in. But I mean, if you look back to Preston, we, we maybe had that little bit of luck with Richie's goal, but obviously we, we deserved to win that day. But then we just needed that one to fall. Um, so the deflection went our way. Then again, the following week, it goes against us. And it's just like... It's just, it's tough and mentally it can be quite draining when you're, you're thinking, how is this even, you're coming away from a game after a 3-0 defeat thinking, I don't remember being so comfortable in a 3-0 defeat, which is a bit bizarre. And even at 10 men, we still kept pushing. And it's just these, but they're massive learning curves for us. Um, Wednesday night, you've seen 
again, a game that could have went either way, no, no, it, it probably would have been the result. Um, again, they, they, they capitalise on a mistake and we just don't get the break um, in their box. And, and, and these things these things are swinging roundabouts and, and we just need to keep believing in what we do. Um, but Saturday's a really exciting one for us. I think it's they're probably going to be the bigger hitters, one of the bigger hitters in the league this year, obviously just down for the Premier League. So it's an exciting challenge um, and one that I know I'm relishing in and the rest of the squad will be relishing as well. Just want to touch a bit more on that. How excited is it for you to come up against like an opponent like Fulham, Craven Cottage, down for the Premier League, the calibre of players they've got? These must be the kind of matches that you were looking forward to at the start of the season having been promoted. Yeah, well, this is, this is, these are the games that why, why I joined this club, is, is to go, is to, to push to get to these, these opportunities, these, these occasions. It's going to be great. Fulham, historic club. Um, I remember following the Championship two years ago when Hull won 3-1, uh, I think it Fulham and, and it was a or three nil. It was a fantastic, fantastic result. And these are the things with this league. It's so unpredictable, and that's why you want to be a part of it. And you can't get too low after the defeat. And, and I know it's so cliche to say, and, um, but you literally you can't. It changes so quickly, um, particularly with a lot of midweek games and, and games come so fast. You literally finish one, you have to dust yourself down, move on to the next one, and and there's you just need to get going on a run again. And then, but I feel for us, we're, we're constantly learning. And um, the last two games particularly have been great learning curves for us um, and maybe with a little bit more experience um, amongst our heads at this level and I think Tom will help us as well coming in um, you see he came on the other day he's, he's just got that just that you just listen when he talks he's just he's, he's been there he's done it he's ticked all the boxes so that's going to be great for us as a squad as well um, even if he's not on the pitch he's one that we can go and speak to um, and, and I feel like that's going to make a big difference to us What piece of advice has Tom given you? Not, not so much just a bit of it, but when I when I ask him, he's he's everything that I'd, I'd want, and I and I'm looking up to an experienced midfielder. Do you know what I mean? And one that I've been fortunate enough to be around um, throughout my career. A lot of players that I've played at such a, well the highest levels in midfield. Um, when I was north up north, and, and now obviously being around guys like Tom, it, it, it's fantastic. And, and for me, I can't ask for much more. Um, particularly if I'm going to be on alongside him at times, like I was the other night. It's it's great for me, and, and if he tells me to do something, I'm, I'm 100% going to do it, or positional-wise or something like that, I'm going to listen, because I, I do know that he is. I used to admire him when I was younger, so he's someone that I'll, I still admire now, but it's, uh, it's going to be great to share a dressing room with. And finally, Fulham will be favourites this weekend. Will you relish the role of underdogs? Absolutely. I, I think you have to. Um, it's exciting. This is, like you say, this is why we want to be here. These, these are the upsets you go for. I mean, you come off the back of two defeats, and... And you're thinking, well, we need to get some points in the next two games or, or Fulham and Bournemouth. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's brilliant occasions this week. You can really, if you get some points at these, going to the international break in a, in, in a good vibe. And that, that's what we want as, as players. Um, but Fulham, Fulham's Fulham. It, it's a fantastic club, obviously. We are underdogs. But we need to get, I think, for us, stripped back to basics, go and do what we're good at and really believe that we can more than compete at this level.